The topic blockchain technology, which is discussed in the book Fintech Business Models, is getting more and more important. Now, test your knowledge on blockchain technology in just three minutes by telling me which of the following statements are true or false. Statement 1. The probability of failure is higher with blockchain technology than with conventional data storage. What do you think? Is this statement true or false? 3, 2, 1. This statement is false. Blockchain provides efficiency gains in many industries beyond finance, including media entertainment, government and the public sector, healthcare and life science, retail and e-commerce, automotive, the energy sector and many others. Fail safety is particularly increased with blockchain technology, as the data storage and data management does not only take place in one place, but on every computer in the network. Statement 2. Uniformity and anti-counterfeiting are guaranteed by blockchain technology. What do you think? Is this statement true or false? 3, 2, 1. This statement is true. With blockchain technology, a state distributed among many participants is changed jointly and by all. The security against forgery is further ensured by the use of cryptographic procedures. The fact that each individual transaction must also be confirmed ensures uniformity and forgery protection. Supporters of the blockchain believe that the concept of trust is effectively reinvented. It is no longer established by powerful centralized financial intermediaries, but instead by cryptographic proof. The method to prove the validity and finality of transactions. Individuals can exchange digital messages in a secure manner, knowing that their messages cannot be manipulated and system nodes are working for them, not against them. Statement 3. There are so-called private blockchains that have a central instance. What do you think? Is the statement true or false? 3, 2, 1. This statement is true. The public blockchain, the technology behind Bitcoin, is an ever-growing digital registry of digital events or transactions, which is decentralized with no central authority, distributed among the network participants, chronically updated as new transactions are added, and practically immutable. But in the so-called private blockchain approach, there can be a limited number of participants and a central instance. Different rights are then assigned to the connected network nodes which means that only invited participants can see the transactions. This is implemented, for example, in Corda by R3 CEV. So, now you've finished the test. In case you answered everything correctly, congratulations! You must be an expert in blockchain technology. In case you want to learn more on blockchain technology and fintechs, check out the book Fintech Business Models.